Uh, what's up, Scrollsers? It's Nerp here, and today we're actually playing a challenge match versus Mopic. Uh, I don't know why I just logged me out and logged me back in, but uh, I've been very lucky to find people online at the time I always log in. Ooh, this is, uh, this is a tough hand. Do I want to keep it? I'll have no necros. I do have a turn two tribesman and a turn three soul steel though. I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> so it looks like we're having a decay mirror match. Uh, I just played a game against Cradstash, another player that I'm happy is you know still playing. We'll need this unbind, destroy target enchants. I don't know. So let's play the Elmire tries it. Next one I can soul steal. So I'm very happy with what I did here. Uh, yeah, sure. I actually just lost to Crowd Stash though. I was playing a Mono Decay deck, not this one, but actually a more mid range. This one's more of a late game Mono Decay. Uh, let's get rid of the third Necro. I don't want to hold on to this the whole game. Thank you. And too bad the Harvester counts down. The well timed Harvester slash Rod Eater, those both would have benefited from that moment. But he has a good curve here. I guess we put pressure on him. Ooh, Halls of Ohm Lhasa. That is fun. Uh, let's go ahead and languid. What does this do again? Destroy target gen unit. Okay. Oh, I can languid unbind. I'm a genius. Languid unbind. <laughs> that destroys something outright. <laughs> So I'll just save that for next turn, I guess, because I go to five next turn. I won't bother with a blight bear. The blight bear. Actually, I'll get rid of the soul steel. I don't think because he's now he's past the resource mark where there's a lot of low health creatures. Perfect. Unbind <laughs> works on that. Okay. And now I can just go to five. Oof. Seeker, though. Do I want to save the Unbind? I don't know, I might just play the Oblivion Seeker and see if I can just avoid that Harvester for a while. I might do that and just snag him right when he uh, least expects it. Yeah, I'm not even going to let him get cards in the Oblivion Seeker. I'm going to try to make him top deck. So how do I do that the best possible way? Okay, we have a three-fifths chance of not moving up. Go down. There we go. I wouldn't be a huge deal. A huge deal, actually. It's nice to have this unbind in our back pocket just to hold on to. But now, actually, it's kind of annoying how basically whatever cards comes up here, I'm going to want to sacrifice, even if it's a really good card, because I want to play the Halls and I want to keep the Unbind to destroy this Harvester. Okay, Brain Lace. Oh, Brain Lace Unbind works as well. Uh, it gets a card from it, too. Well, but I'll just play the Halls right now. And. Let's see if we can catch him napping, like, kind of opening his board, thinking he uh, has a harvester ready to attack if I kill things. And then maybe I can deal some damage to his creatures, as well as destroy his harvester with the unbind. So, hopefully we don't get, like, someone like a witch doctor top decking, because we're going to have to sacrifice that. Halls of Alam Lhasa. This looks like it should be a pretty good game. Well, perfect. The Blight Seed. I feel so bad. Oh, I had the Halls and Losses. I wouldn't really have to sacrifice anything. I'll take the Necro, I guess. And... I'd rather have Necro again than Infected Husk. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> 
That hurts a lot for him. This is Harvester and the Blight Seed. Like, it's really bad for him. And. May as well just. Deal some damage. And I'll Blight Seed. So I can have a bigger turn next turn. I'm getting kind of lucky right now. This, this game so far seems a little one sided to me. I guess him getting a good curve with the Harvester Cursemonger and Oblivion Seeker was pretty good, but I had the right I had the right cards against that and I've had this Owen Loss thing going. Does he have a double brain lice or something? How does he, how's he gonna kill this? I guess he's double brain lice. No he doesn't. Okay, well I am gonna get a bunch of stuff here then. Uh Is tough, tough choice. I guess Soul Steel is pretty good here. Unbind is as well, because he might do another Blight Seed. Yeah, I'll take the Unbind. Is I can out or destroy something with a Blight Seed. Now I can only play something late on myself. In that case, I'm gonna take the brain lice and I want to play another blight seed I think that's three three two right okay that, that should be good gonna go blight seed go for resources anyways play you can necrogen and kill my blight sea guy well and then I guess I'll put that on that yeah so this game I think I have control of last game I was against Karasash he was I was monitoring a little less liking than this and he was late game order with weird Imperial Scepter or Metempsychosis Arbaluster plays and it was a great game and he uh, he made some really cool plays I wish I recorded that one I mean, this game is actually uh, fun too but I kinda wish I was recording for that game because it was really really uh, close until the end he pulled away Oh, do I want to continue blight seeding? Nah, this is fine. I could win soon. Let's see. I guess I will play the halls and blight seed again. Don't see why not, right? I want, I want to finish with the Necker again. Well, first I'll play the Halls. I know I'm going to play that. And I won't play it again, actually. I'm just going to play a couple Tribesmen. Yeah. Destroy Middle Idol. And then put a few Tribesmen down. And I have back to back Necroguns. He's gonna be able to destroy a couple of my creatures. I'll draw more cards. Maybe I can top deck a Watcher if I even have Watchers in this deck. Might not win actually next turn. Probably will go for Necrogun regardless though because I have nothing really attacking and I can do a bunch of idle damage. Okay, well, I'm still gonna do it because I can get this down to one health. Uh, oh, do I want to do it? What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? I guess I want Soul Steel for these harvesters. Do I want a Necrogeddon? Necrogeddon and. So I really want a Necrogeddon right now. I deal 3 damage to the bottom idol. 
No, nah, not really. I think I want a Witch Doctor Harvester. I think I'm gonna do... I'm gonna get rid of one Necro. I think two is pushing in a little bit. So I'll go Witch Doctor Harvester. And... I will protect myself. Witch Doctor. And a harvest. I'll threaten the bottom idol here. Ramping ahead of him. Looks like he has decent board control, and he will get a lot of cards if I kill this Oblivion Seekers. So if he has Brain Lysis, he can kill his Harvester pretty easily. You see, he has this Curse Monger. I can Soul Steal this Witch Doctor next turn. Okay, I place it on that. Light Seed. I could just Soul Steal that away. Pillar fatigue. Okay, what the heck? Unbind. Unbind can kill the blight seed. Guess we're taking the unbind. So this is blight seed. What else can die? I can. Okay, so we can't move now. This guy's not going to do anything. I will actually believe it or not I'm gonna play the harvester then I'm gonna go to the living seeker then I'm gonna oh what's this again Soul steal this. Then I'll unbind this. Oh, I can't even do it my own creature. Whoops. That was a mistake. Didn't mean to do that. And I guess that's what I'm gonna do for now. <laughs> a little messed up there. I have a new room in this deck? Oh, I have Dominion. That can bring my harvesters up to ten attack. Wow. So what does Sleep Moratorium do again? Sift so three random scrolls from a discard pile and draw one of them, gain current decay equal to its casting cost. So it's just like a little risk reward. Let's see if I can grab the wind soon. That would be good. Curses that ripper. He plays a new rose. Oh, I didn't even see that. Old Mono Decay Mirror match. A lot of fun. Necro. Uh, let's take the Oblivion Seeker. Uh, can we get things to go off this turn? We can Soul Steal something and we can Unbind something. We can't destroy a third thing, though. I'll sleep more time and hope I can do that. See if we can show our third thing. Uh, no, we can't. We found a Necker again, though, which we'll take. And then I'll sacrifice. Sacrifice it for cards. See if I can get anything. Unbind, but there's nothing else to unbind. Little Corpse Theft. I can corpse up unbind actually. Oh my god, this is crazy. Corpse theft. Unbind. And I have my own new room. <laughs> what the? That was crazy. Okay, and then I get unbind. Alright, I'll just let us like. Soul steal. This. <laughs> he did not see that coming. <laughs> Corpse stuff on mine on the new room. I get my own new room. <laughs> That's fun. I guess I'll be winning this game.
GG. That was kind of fun. Uh, actually, kind of more than kind of. I really like the uh, plays I made at the end there. Um, so, how many minutes is that? 15 minutes? Can we squeeze another game in? I can squeeze another game in, but I'm going to play a shorter term deck. I'll just see if he uh, gets ready for a rematch. Let's. I don't know. What's the. I haven't played, I haven't played aggro in a long time. Can we get a match? If not, I'll fill more time in this video by playing the AI, I guess. Because 15 minutes. Okay. Let's see if. Okay, he's just waiting a second. Okay, uh, I don't really want to edit this video, so I'm just gonna stall time. Uh -huh. Okay, actually, he's right here. Don't have to wait. Aggro, aggro, aggro. Playing all these decks for the first time in so long. I have a feeling it's gonna lock me out right now. Nope, didn't. He goes first. Not something like sees aggro. Uh, what the heck was this deck again? Oh, I had these overgrown menhirs in it. <laughs> I guess this is a good start for going second. Vetter into three drops. I mean, if it's decay, my overgrown menhirs should do very well. My Steelwood Vindicator and Vetters will be very weak though. Okay, he's energy. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the Vindicator to be honest. He's so burnable and sparkable it's like annoying. Which is kind of weird I have two overgrown Methurst but that could be good. I could just play things with haste like anything in my hand I could come in out with haste like a great wolf. I hope he doesn't play anything right now. Yes! Lucky me. Is this like gonna, is this gonna be like a Mono energy structures. Oh, I see. I play mono. I know Mopic used to play mono energy structures. Okay, we gotta be quick here. We gotta have a quick start. I think Kinfolk Brave with Earth and Mirth is this quick start. So I think that means we sacrifice one of the overgrown menhirs. <laughs> the old deck switcher is. Yeah, so those structures actually die really easy to energy. So I'm just going to try to be fast here and go for some earthen mirths. Okay, hopefully he doesn't have a burn. Uh, I don't think he has a human. Yeah, I don't think he's going to play a human. Actually, I don't know. Straight family is just not, not really going to help that much against energy structures. So we're going to test our luck. We're testing our luck. <laughs> don't have a burn or a spark. No burn or spark. No burn, no burn, no burn, no burn. I mean, he probably has a burn. Darn. Oh, no burn. Wow. Lucky me. Getting more damage in. Uh, Rumble could be useful. Not yet, though. So, yeah, that wouldn't be useful yet. Okay, I keep separate just in case he has like a power trip thunder surge. You never know. Put pressure on that ether pump. Get a great wolf down. Be able to move anywhere. I'm growthing. And he does get the burn now. Just what he needed. At least I got a little bit of damage in with that Wetland Ranger. That is what I like to see. Uh, 
Uh, he could have. He could have a thunder surge now. All. How do I maximize my idle damage here? I'm just going for idle damage. I'll let him deal damage with that thing. Idle damage it is. So I just have to watch out for some mild dispersals. Never got a scroll scape. I have a scroll scape in Minecraft. I might actually do some Minecraft on the channel. I don't know. Rallyings, two stone recluses. Let's get rid of one of these. Niara. Well, there goes my better. I actually might not win this. Yeah, the ether pump going off. And I can't play the Niara next turn. I have to go up one, so I hope I can top deck something. I might go just go for a rally. Okay, Metal Wonder fine. That's actually a structure I like them to play. It doesn't really do a whole lot for at this point in the game. Two main G's. What do I play? Do I just rally? I think I pillage. I think I rally to destroy the idol before before I can't. Cause so I don't really have a better play, right? Yeah. Okay. Two two idols down. But now he can start to protect, and we don't have a rumble. I'm playing the Niara though. The Niara will be very good. Okay, I don't like to see that, but what are you going to do? And if he has a, f a machine divinator, eek, that means that's going to go off next turn. Earthen Mirth. I got to hold on to that just in case. Because if, if that Earthen Mirth can go off, if this can survive, it has Relentless, so I can put an Earthen Mirth on it and smash. Hopefully it doesn't have Potion Resistance. Consolidator Niara has also another Earthen Mirth target. I don't know if I'm allowed to play with it. This is, a, this is another close game. Oof, he had a spark just in time. And this is kind of bad now. I might lose this. Let's see. Better. Better's not gonna help me. Count on decrease by one. It doesn't really help. Darn. Creature. I'm just gonna play the mentor. Move this up to. Okay. Might get the loss. Let's see. Ugh. He's gonna be able to kill it. Oh, he didn't kill it. Yes. So, Earthen Mirth brings up to 8 attack. Don't want the spotted links. Another Niara, so I can play another one of these. Okay, so that's going to go down soon. Let's see, is it worth me playing a veteran? You'll go to 5 attack. That doesn't work. I can go Earthen Mirth though, I don't think that's worth it right now. 
I think it's better for me to save the earth than mirth. Yeah. Okay, so I am just going to go in a line then. Because... Yeah. Gonna deal some damage. So that's down to 3 health. And hopefully this mortar does not hit our overgrown menher or our kinfolk veteran. Oh, it's gonna be hard to break through there. Okay, don't break, don't hit any of those. <laughs> hit her. She's gonna die anyways to the uh, ether pump. Okay, so it is time for. Earth Mirth, I'm gonna get rid of. Okay, that was actually a great draw. I played the Niara. We actually have haste to do this next turn. Okay, let's hope he doesn't have a VD. No VD, no VD. Because next turn, if I can have this survive, I have both a Ragged Wolf and a Veteran to play. I could always go for a Rumble. Okay, so Ragged Wolf plus Veteran. Alright, please don't hit anything. Yes, okay. Ooh, I can actually go. Actually, that wouldn't be as good. So, Ragged Wolf Veteran. This would have three attack. And this would have five attack. I don't even know how this works anymore. Damn. Let's get rid of the spotted links. Or do we do we rumble? Yeah, I think we rumble here. Try to clear things some things away. Huh. I guess that doesn't matter. We had crazy stuff too. GGWP. Just use the rumble, and that was a perfect rumble. So, uh, yeah. Got the video. It's 28 minutes. That's good. A couple of games. So, thanks for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content. Uh, maybe some more duelist. I'll try to have periodic scrolls uploads until the, uh, until the end of scrolls time. Uh, but probably want to focus on some more duelist now. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next time.